Senate in Victoria for the Stable Population Fund. Okay, and in the area where you campaign, what sorts of effects of population growth do you find come up, the negative effects? Well, this is what really got me interested in. I was being a local councillor in the area of uh, Brighton, Bayside, down uh, Sandringham, Bay Morris Way. Uh, we were faced with a lot of inappropriate development, including high rise development, and it was something that people were very concerned about. And then when we were saying, well, we, we've got to try and get controls over this, people were saying, but where are we going to put the people? If we're not going to have them in high rise development, we've got to have urban sprawl. And then we're saying, well, what sort of numbers of people are we talking about? We're talking about a city like Melbourne growing at 2,000 people a week, 1,500 officially. And unofficially they're saying around 2,000 people a week coming to Melbourne. And I'm starting to think, well, that's the problem, isn't it? We've got so many people coming here, we've got to, we can't afford the infrastructure for them, the, the railways, the trams, the uh, hospitals, schools, all of these things. We really have to be really funding them in the face of the increasing population. And Jeff, do you find that um, the um, major, the ABC and the Age and the Herald Sun, and the Australian are all saying what a great thing population growth is. Well, if they're not saying that, we certainly don't ever look at the negative sides of population. We don't, we don't hear about the problems caused by population. We just hear about how we're going to deal with it and how we're going to try and find ways of uh, financing this infrastructure gap that we face in, in all the areas of uh, Melbourne. Victoria is one of the fastest growing state now. Australia is one of the fastest growing countries in terms of population in the Western world. Our, our growth rate of 1.7% is bigger than India's, which is 1.4% per annum. So it, it, it's a huge problem that's not really addressed in the local press or in the, in the paper adequately. And and that's why the Stable Population Party has come into existence to provide people with a choice.